How's it going guys? So I'm going to show how to play um, Shotgun by George Ezra. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, this is a very good song to learn. It's uh, just three open chords and two strumming patterns. So that's the reason why I'm teaching it because it's two strumming patterns that would be very good for building up your kind of changing the rhythm of the way you're playing during a song, you know. But um, please like and subscribe to the channel. I have lots more to come. And um, thank you for watching before I even start. So um, you're going to... I have a capo on the third fret. And uh, that's the way the guy plays it himself. But uh, you can play it open if you want either. It depends on what way or what suits you. You know, everybody's different. So um, I think this is exactly the way he plays it himself. So um, it's not a very hard song to play. But the strumming pattern is a bit of a challenge. Now you can pick this with your thumb and strum with your fingers or you can use a plectrum. It's completely up to yourself. If you're beginning, I'd recommend using a plectrum because it's always the, the best way to do it. I have a terrible habit of playing with my hand, but look, everybody's different. So, um, yeah, it's George Ezra's Shotgun anyway is the song. And uh, you're going to need three open chords for this song. And I'll go through them which is now. So the first one you're going to need is a G card. So for the G card, what you're going to have to do is put your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string. You're going to put your index finger on the second fret of the A string. You're going to put your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And your pinky finger on the third fret of the high E string. So the two high E strings are third fret. B strings third fret and the A string 2nd fret G chord now during this song you're gonna most of the, the whole way through the song nearly you're gonna keep them two fingers on the B and the high E you're gonna keep them there they're not really gonna move the only time they're gonna move is for the last chord in the sequence which is the D chord but you'll see so G chord then the next card, it's like a version of a C card. I'm not sure of the name of it. I should. I learnt them all before, but I forgot a few of them. So there's the G card, and then for the next card, it's very easy. So you're going to take your middle finger. You're going to go down to the third fret of A. So you're going to put it right beside where your index finger is for the G, and then you're going to move your index finger down to the third fret of the D. So the two fingers are going just down one string each. So the middle finger is going down to the A. And the uh, index finger is going down to the D. And then you're going to play that chord. So that's your second chord. So G. And this kind of C shape chord. And these two aren't moving. So these two are staying where they are the whole way. So G. Then this one. The next one. You're going to keep your ring finger and your pinky finger where they are again the same. And you're going to move your index finger up, back up to the second fret of the A. So you're going to move it from the D to the A in the second fret and you're going to bring your middle finger down to the third fret or the second fret of the D so it's like an E minor shape so it's second fret A second fret D so that's your third chord so G then third fret A second fret D then 2nd fret A, 2nd fret D. And now your last chord. This is the whole sequence of chords for the whole song. And this is where you're going to lift your pinky. So you're going to lift your pinky. You're going to go into a D chord. You're going to put your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D, high E. And you're going to put your index finger on the 2nd fret of the G. So you're going to be on the 2nd fret. Now your ring finger stays where it was on the 3rd fret of the B. So 2nd fret D. 3rd fret B and 2nd fret high E D chord so G this C shape chord E minor shape chord and D chord now there's names for these two chords but unfortunately I don't know them so that's them anyway so G C E minor and then the D and make sure to lift your pinky off for the D right so that's the chords and that's the order they're going to come in in the song so they're always going to come in that order 
And what the pick and the strumming pattern for this for the verse, right, is just like that twice. Pick. So pick your bass notes. So I'm kind of picking E and A here. Pick, down strum, and then I kind of mute it. So pick, down strum, pick, down strum, just like that. Pick, down, pick, down, and that's your whole strum for that chord. So pick, down, pick, down. Now if you're getting confused anywhere in this video, if I'm going too fast for you, just rewind it back to where you were comfortable and go from there, every time. You're not going to get everything in the first go, nobody does, even if they pretend to do, they don't. <laughs> it's always learning. So, pick, down, pick, down, and then I usually hit the A and D open before I go to the next card. So, pick, down, pick, down, pick, and then into this card, the second one, pick, down, pick, down, so the very same strumming pattern, so G, pick, down, pick, down, open, pick, down, pick, down, and then open again with the A and D, pick, go to the E minor card, pick, down, pick, down, then hit it again, open, and to the G, or the D, sorry, pick, down, pick, down. And that's the cycle, that's the way it's going to go throughout the verse, so pick, down, 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 pick, down. And like I said, you can do this with a plectrum or you can do it with your thumb. I think it's a bit easier with the thumb, but everybody's different, everybody has their own preferences, so it's completely up to yourself. So. Now, throughout the verse, you're going to play that cycle of chords four times. It's going to cycle through four times. So, one. Two. Try to do this along with me. Three. And this is about the speed it's played in the song, so this is kind of on speed, like. time. Now we're going to go into the chorus the fourth time, so let it ring out and straight into the chorus. And the chorus is the very same set of chords guys but it's just a different strumming pattern. So when you go into the chorus you're going to go so it's pick, down, so you go pick, down, up, up, down, pick, down, up, up, pick, down, down, up, so pick, down, up, up, down, pick, ah Jesus, sorry lads, pick, down, up, up, pick, down, down, up, and on that last little up strum I usually do it between the chord change. So that's the strum pattern for this, and like I said, if I'm confusing you, or you're getting confused, just go back to where you knew what I was, where I was, and then go from there. So pick, down, up, up, pick, down, down, up, into the next chord, pick, down, up, up, pick, down, down, up, into the next chord, very same, pick, down, up, up, pick, down, down, up, into G, pick, down, up, up, pick, down, down, up, and you'd be picking the D string there. And that's the way the chorus goes, and he plays through them twice for the chorus. So you so it's always two times for the chorus and four times for the verse and I think the last chorus in the song is four times and then you lead back into the verse picking just to finish off the song but yeah so it's when you start the song as well guys just one little quick thing usually I just go oh shit sorry so I usually just go one 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 
one just to set your pace and then and then four times through them cards chorus for two runs then four times for them cards again then chorus for two runs and then I think the third chorus you do it four times in the chorus so the chorus, the full chorus with the two runs is just like this, so it's... Two. Then back to the verse, and four times through these cards. Or well, they're the same cards, but this pick and pan. And that's basically the song, that's the way it goes. So it's gonna stay like that. So it's four times for the verse, two times for the chorus, and then the last chorus I think you play it four times. So I hope that video was helpful guys. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, uh, if you have any requests, just fire them at me, I'll try and do them. I'm gonna be flat out doing this now, so thanks a million. I'll pull up a video of the strumming hand just to let you have a look. Thank you. Right, so I'm just going to show a little demonstration of the way I'm playing it. Now I play it with my fingers, but you can use a plectrum yourself either, so it's completely up to you. So this is starting off the, core, the verse, right? Right, so we'll go into the chorus now, okay? I'm just gonna do that two times. And the second time for the chorus. Back to the verse. That's her guys, that's the way it goes, so thank you.